Four years ago, a ship called the MTS Endurance disappeared on its voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. It has recently re-emerged. You are a member of a rescue crew sent to investigate a distress signal coming from the once lost cargo vessel. In the harsh weather conditions, the rescue operation went awry. You were the only member of your team who made it onto the ship. You head below deck to look for any signs of life. What up guys? It's your boy Dark Thought Sky or Skyman. Now, I haven't made a regular playthrough in a couple of videos, so I thought that I might give it a try. Considering that most of my subscribers come from whenever I did most of those gameplays. Now, with that being said, I do like to do video essays, but those take some time. And I don't want to just post video essays. I would I would like to post some um some horror game gameplays, walkthroughs and such. So I seen this demo going around and then I thought I'd give it a try. And hopefully you guys don't mind. Now I don't really know anything about this. This game. I'm just seeing it going around. All right, so we got our briefcase here. Now I used to play a lot of horror games. I had like a high tolerance for them. But I feel like, I feel like it's been a while since I've played like a good horror game. So maybe this will get me to go a little crazy. You know, surprisingly, when I was in the Navy and I was on a ship, it wasn't this loud at all. In fact, the ship was pretty quiet for most of the time. As mentioned before, I don't really know anything about this game, so... I don't know if we're going against like a monster or if there's a serial killer here. Okay. So we found some blood. There's a bunch of mannequins here. Bleeding. One nine four seven. It's probably for that safe up there, right? I just walked right past that jump scare on accident. Get our first look at whatever it may be. Okay. I don't know what the chains are for. You know what? 
forgot what that code is, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I think it was one nine seven four. Nineteen forty seven. I wish everybody um a happy new year and I hope that everybody gets the goals that they set for themselves and plans that they have for themselves. I hope everything's successful and I hope everybody has plenty of ambition to get those things done. Or you start whatever new hobby you, th you thought you were going to start this year or think you're going to start this year or want to start this year rather think and thought or hope to do is kind of um demotivating so I'll, I'll wish that you have plenty of um drive to get that done or at least start So we have mannequins here. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Mannequins just aren't scary to me. I mean, they just, they're just cute, you know, to me at least. I just found a key. Probably goes upstairs to the, um... Door. Mannequins just aren't scary. That or, um, clowns. A lot of people are afraid of clowns. Jesus. <laughs> Time to wake up for work. That's the, the scariest thing right there. <laughs> okay. Got a mannequin right there. Just gonna go straight for it. That's what it wants me to do, that's what I'm gonna do. here so okay we're gonna trigger something if we come back Okay, so now we have this. And there's a mannequin right here looking at me.
Alright, so we'll come all the way back here. And then we have this door that we can open. statues started to appear on the third day it was just one or two at first but more would show up every day and by the end of the week there was dozens of them some of the statues have started moving they've killed three people already when evacuating the quarantined areas i whistled to get the crew's attention and one of the statues whistled back we've only had one more fatality in the last week the sentient statues will always whistle back and it's proven an effective way of avoiding danger Though they won't respond if you are too close. Still, I think it would be best for the rest of us to find a safe place to hole up for now. There's not many of us left now. The engines have stopped, but we can get to the bridge. There's something else on this ship, and it stalks the corridors looking for survivors. The safest place for us right now is in this room. I just hope we are rescued soon. So anybody not familiar with... So anybody not familiar with um <clears throat> ship lingo, the bridge is normally at the top of the ship. It's normally your communications tower or pretty close to. It's also where you get your heading and your location so you know where you're going. It's where you steer and shit. Um, it's normally where the captain of the ship is at or nearby. We have our infinite battery. Flashlight. Ambience is um really like kicking up. Feels like anything could just You alright? Yeah, I took a break. Lock from the other side. Very well. There's a door over there. I can't interact with that. Coming in. All right, guess not. All right. What is that? like seaweed Krampus or something.
just disappeared. Ten is gone. Oh, is it also nineteen forty six, maybe? Okay. So we have just a normal clock. Wait, is there... No clocks in there. Eleven thirty eleven seven. Let's see if eleven seven works. Oh, sorry. Eleven seven. Eleven thirty five. So now we have screwdriver. What do we need? Oh, bro, I thought he'd have to come back here and kill us. like uh oh what the fuck oh thank you see bro how can you be afraid of mannequins when they're so helpful Take as long as you need, okay? Alright, we have a moon sigil. We have pictures. Now this is unlocked from this side. It's getting pretty crazy in here. I mean, I just feel like the vibe is different. Excuse me. Okay. Well, that's the room with the 
lockbox. And there's a switch behind it. Okay. Room, get out of my way. Where are you going? You're disappearing? The room with the lockbox is this way. To the left. To the right. Please move. How is that correlated? No way a switch opens a... No way. Like it's literally not connected to anything. Let's go put this sun sigil there. Oh. Back up, buddy. Me through the door. Save me, brother. Yeah, I don't know what dude thought was going to happen. Bro just threw me through a grate. Um, first impressions, um, it, it was, um, Definitely at more adventurous than horror, more puzzly. The atmosphere was definitely very good, but I just don't think that the um, antagonists in this game were, you know, enough to get me up there. Just mannequins and then whatever he was wasn't very scary. But if this game has a good story, then I guess it's worth it. Um... All I know is that the ship stopped working and there were a rescue crew and, you know, maybe if the lore behind the guys are a little bit cooler, then it would definitely be something worth checking out, you know, if they get more fleshed out. Like this right here. This is more scary than that whole game. All right, well, um, you know, I know this isn't like the last couple of videos and I got a lot of subscribers from those videos, but I hope that you guys will understand that those videos take some time and I hope that you guys enjoyed this. So without further ado, I hope you guys have an amazing day.